Yo, so uh, I don't want to continue this video off, but we are on the next day. Um, not gonna really focus on the fox body. Pretty much uh, did what I wanted to do for the most part. Um, kind of just want to back away from it now because how much I had a fight with it yesterday. But what I want to do is continue um, stripping down this wire harness off the uh, warrior. Uh, and I want to go ahead and start by taking this bolt out because um, I don't feel like having that in there. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then try to work on getting these. Uh, I know it's like, I think it's this one over here where for some reason it just keeps screwing into itself. Like you could go ahead and lock up the nut down here and try to unscrew it from up top. But for some reason it just doesn't come out. It just keeps uh, locking itself in. So. Well, I'm going to go ahead and uh, pretty much continue breaking this stuff down. Um, might set up the camera to do a time lapse maybe. Let me finish this up. But uh, let me go ahead and just make sure I get everything going. And uh, well, I'm going to do this bolt first. And then um, set up and record the rest of me taking everything apart and stuff. I think I genuinely have like the worst luck in the world. When it comes to working on shit in the last six months. I already broke two drill bits. Now. Snapped off the fucking extractor bit. In the fucking hole, bro. Like, <laughs> like I already was like down to the bottom of I was what I, I drilled in there. This bit didn't fit. The size down didn't fit. So I'm like, fuck! I'm just gonna drill the rest of the shit out. Like I'm just gonna drill the rest of the screw out. It's only. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, fuck it, I just drill it all out. Then I saw I had it damn near like drilled all the way out down to the bottom, but then I'm noticing there's like a like a slight um like it wasn't the entire you know screw. So I was like, oh alright, like I could just, you know, tap this in there, let it bite, and just twist it out with an adjustable wrench. Started doing that, grabbed a bar for leverage and then Shit just snaps off in there. I'm having the worst time of luck, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm having some serious bad luck lately. I don't know what the fuck is going on. So now, I gotta do this shit all over again. But now, I need to extract <laughs> this shit. And then just continue bottoming the shit out. <whistles> Y'all swear, man, these, these days just get longer and longer with working on shit. I don't know if this is a test of patience for rite of passage or some shit. I don't know what the fuck is going on, but your boy's having a lot of bad luck lately, so. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and try to get this, uh, try to extract the extractor bolt. Just hope I do it right this time. Oh, man. All right, so here we are, here's the white harness. So this is uh, the rear part of it along the side. Um, obviously ports, you know, um, to the, uh, stator, rectifier, CDI, rectifier, and the, <sighs> this is not the ignition coil, because that is, whatever the fuck this shit is was relay i think that's the oh that's the ignition relay so the ignition relay 
Um, the ignition wire is still on right here. Um, hooked up to the starter still. Um, there's this reverse plug left there. Um, that shit uh, cut off the back tail light wire. So the thing is, the reason why I'm removing it is because I'd rather put in a brand new one because of how um, jacked up most of this shit is. Unless I decide to change my mind, cut some corners, and nah, I'll just probably sell this shit. I'll probably just sell all of it. Uh, as OEM and if somebody wants to sit there and try to restore it and do whatever I found a, the whole complete thing for like a buck 60 on Amazon may not be OEM but you know I gotta start somewhere and if that shit you know going that route could cause a problem could not also do a new battery but we got it all out and um just lack of fucking motivation. I wasn't able to get the uh, CDI box out because I'm dealing with another strip bolt. A head stripped on me, a Phillips head. So that's like, that's been the, the I think the main two things that is starting to really annoy me with um, working on this bike and the Mustang is that I'm dealing with a lot of old part, a lot of old bolts that have worn out due to uh, weather. So, I ain't gonna lie to y'all, I'm thinking that shit is starting to get to me. Just a little bit. That shit is starting to annoy me. Just a little bit. I had to remove the air box in order to yank the whole wire harness out. But, the whole wire harness is out. Uh, I don't know. Oh, these shits. Gotta come out, so. Okay. So... Um, yeah, part of me, as much as I would love to do a complete restoration on this bike, I just don't got the time and the means. I'd rather just, you know, try to get another wire harness on, hook it up, start diagnosing it from there. You know, hope maybe, you know, times change and I could, you know, I got better means. I could go ahead and just rip everything apart and rebuild like I want to, like I dream to with it, cause it's, a, it's an easy bike, you know? You know, it's a light bike, it's in the Yamaha family. I like Banshees, so, at least the frame is kinda straight though, from what I can see. At least the frame is straight, that's a good thing. This is a little bent up at whatever, but, the frame is right there. Yep, there's a CDI box right there. And the culprit to holding me up is right there. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to go ahead and get that bolt that um Phillips head out. Then I just gotta really start cleaning and organizing and putting shit away. Um should I put these on the wire harness attach them? I should, huh? Just if I plan on selling it. But yeah, what I'm probably gonna do right now, I'm just gonna probably start doing like a major cleanup and reorganize real quick because I've just been working and just doing shit, throwing shit back wherever. But at least I got the wire harness out and uh, I could kind of start moving forward and shit. Kind of start seeing things. So, yep, I got a Project Fox Body and Project Warrior. So awesome, you know what I mean? Just giving myself a bunch of shit to do and I got Roblox because now I kind of cleared up the Roblox in there of the steering shaft is finally out I cleared up the back with the bolts and shit so now if I you know to move on to putting carpet again and all that other good stuff to try to uh, finish up the inside then I move on to here, but I still got bolts that are still in there that aren't completely out though. So I gotta find a way to either grind them down flat or completely pop them out. Then I got a stuck 
extractor bolt broken off in here and I got a fucking Phillips stripped in the back so this is just awesome it's very like it's like the biggest lesson I'm learning is how to deal with old shit in terms of bolts and screws and shit so that's pretty much gonna be it for today I don't know if I update or do anything keep in tune I don't know but I'm about to just you know organize and clean and all this other fun shit right now so I'll catch you in the next one Okay, so I am going to give you some kind of an update. Um, I was able to finally uh, cut that stupid nylon lock off. That was that nut that was causing issues and all that shit is dirty. Um, no luck with getting this shit out. I don't really think I'm going to give two shits about it today. I'm tired of dealing with shit that doesn't want to work. Um, I have bought new um, chrome clutch lever and brake lever. But... Shits don't fit, man. Look at this shit. Where is it? This shit is like stupid wide, right? Stupid wide. These shits are nice. Doesn't fit because the slot is too skinny. So I'll probably just do a whole brand new set of that. Um, might uh like get rid of more shit on the inside try cleaning it up a little bit in here at least some easy shit to do to ease my mind and shit but that's gonna be pretty much it for today everything's cleaned up and organized and shit so yeah